Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. It's Angela. And I just got a deck in the mail. I've been chomping at the bit for. I'm so excited. Um, this is the, the bag it came in. The outer bag. It is from overseas. Poland to be exact. And that is the studios it comes from. Tarot Teca Studios for the love of cards. Um, I like that it came in this nice little box here but i don't want to rip it um i haven't even opened the box yet <laughs> um so let's see i'm gonna see if i can get it open oh there yeah it popped right open oh, i'm so excited look at that oh my gosh i'm so excited i've been waiting for it took about uh yesterday actually today would have been two weeks so exactly from the time i ordered it to the time i got it in the mail um, yeah, so excited. So let's get rid of this and all the peanuts. Um, and then let me see if I can get the wrap open. Oh, goodness. Oh, my gosh. And it's a lot smaller. Than I thought it would be. Oh my gosh. And it came with an extra card. And I'll tell you why here in a second. So I'm so excited. And it is the Elemental Wisdom Tarot. By Tarot Teca Studios. Um, they are the company that also did the Dark Mansion Tarot. Which I don't have any interest in the Dark Mansion Tarot. But this one is the second I saw it. I bought it. Um, I saw it on Tarot Oracle's channel. And I'm trying not to cut the box. Because it's beautiful um let me do this off camera again there just get it started oh my gosh i'm so excited this is like a beautiful and look how compact that is it's so cute and little um yeah the elemental wisdom tarot and i've only seen two people with walkthroughs of this deck i don't know that it's um known but oh my gosh it's gorgeous um and i guess it came out at the end of last year uh but yeah it's beautiful and it's got a metallic box or yeah metallic box it doesn't come with a book and i did message them and they did say that oh look at that shiny um they did say that the um oh it's got the silk matte gilding there oh and look at that cute little box that comes in um and then it's just got this here i did message them and they said that the there will be a guidebook in a couple months and oh my god <laughs> the card stock is amazing um this is the the deck that they're coming out with in 2021 like a sample of it and then this is the deck they're coming out with in 2022 the card stock is literally is like silk that's crazy uh soft super soft okay um and then i saw the backs here they are gorgeous gorgeous that is so beautiful so beautiful um yeah it's got this nice cool black silk matte edging um and the cards are just oh that's like butter that is awesome and it's i'm gonna say regular tarot sized it may be a little wider i don't have another card here to show you but it looks like a little maybe a little wider and shorter a hair hair off so this is the full i'm gonna see if i can zoom in just a little bit here um this full card while beautiful to me does not match the rest of this deck at all um and i'll uh, show you why it's it's very beautiful the coloring in this is just fantastic um yeah but then we go from that to the magician which is gorgeous and then the very first card that i'm like oh, i gotta have this deck look at that high priestess and the extra card i'll show you why the high priestess is spelled wrong here so they actually sent a replacement with it. That was the first card before I even opened the box. It was in there. So I got my, my high priestess corrected. <laughs> I like the fact that it they sent the uh, 
Because at the time when people were getting this, they didn't hadn't corrected it yet. So I like that they left the the misspelled one in there. I don't know. I'm just I it makes the decks extra special to me. But that is the a gorgeous high priestess. I mean, I love it. Love it. Love it. Love it. And then this Empress, geez, just the feel behind her almost feels like it's moving. It's just oh, it's gorgeous. And the Emperor. Look at that detail. It's just so stunning. Um, this Hierophant. It's very religious, but just look at the detail in that. It's just gorgeous. Okay. And then this is the reason I immediately had to buy this deck. This Lover's Card. Um, I don't like too many Lover Cards. And this is very Adam and Evie. Even though... I think it's funny because the Hierophant, because it's more religious, I don't really care for a Hierophant like that. But this one is very Adam and Eve, and I love it. I love the colors. I love everything about this card. Everything is gorgeous. And I had to have this deck because of this, but then there's so many others in there. They're like, they're just gorgeous cards. Like this uh, chariot. It's one of the few chariots. I'm just like, it's phenomenal. It's dogs instead of horses. Um, the woods even look on fire, even though it's like a winter storm. It's glorious, 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 glorious. I love it. Um, strength is gorgeous as well. Love, again, the field in the open sky. Beautiful. And this hermit is phenomenal as well. I love it. It's so dark and eerie, but I love it. Love it. <laughs> the Wheel of Fortune. justice i don't know this it said silk mat and it does feel like silk man that is so soft and buttery um the hangman and i love that you don't see his legs here it's almost like he is growing out of the tree um and he looks very content look at his face he looks very content uh in his resting position um, and I love the sky back there behind it. Gorgeous. Gorgeous. Death. Love this death. I don't think there's a card in here that I don't like. Just the coloration of everything is just phenomenal. Oh, and this temperance card. I don't really care for too many temperance cards, but this one is gorgeous. The butterflies... And you see this like daytime here and then night here, that perfect balance, which is what the temperance card represents. It does it so eloquent, eloquently here. Um, and the flowers down here, I don't know if that's lilacs or wisteria. I don't know. It's just, it works. I love this card. The devil, this looks like something out of a video game, but I love it. He's literally coming out of the pentagram. That's crazy. That's cool. Now, <clears throat> this tower card, the, the couple walkthroughs I've seen, nobody's talked about, to me, the obvious elephant in the room. First of all, this card is gorgeous. It's beautiful. But here it looks like daylight is coming up. And you got the storm here and the night sky, and then the daylight is coming out. But inside the tower, you see... What looks like it's nighttime inside the tower. Um, and the stars are in there. All over in there. Um, and it just, it gives me this new perspective of the night is going away. That the, the tower is, uh, it's harnessing the night sky. And it's like, I don't even know how to explain it. Um, but it's almost like it's harnessing the night and it's bringing it to light because there's the new day coming out. Um, it's bringing the, what's hidden and in the dark to light. And I love that. Love that. And from what I got told, there's a figure. There, somebody said they saw a skull here, but I don't see it. I see almost like a pig flying when pigs fly. <laughs> but I love this image. Love it. Love it. Love it. The star. I'm not too keen on too many stars, but the star is glorious as well. There's so many... Um, I did uh, my favorite majors a few back, a few months back. Um, there's quite a few cards in here that would replace 
some of my favorite majors because this star is gorgeous. Just beautiful. Um, and this moon is beautiful as well. Still, it's not my favorite, but it's still beautiful. It's probably top five. It's gorgeous. And I love the red, like, poppies in there. Beautiful. And then the sun is one of my favorite sun cards. First of all, there's sunflowers. There's a little girl. She's so adorable. There's butterflies all around. Even up here. It's just, it works. It's so fun and sweet. Love it. Judgment beautiful colors and then we have the world and omg this world card is everything <laughs> i love the rainbows i love the vibrant colors it is gorgeous 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 so that is the majors and i've talked about it Ugh, i'm just so excited to get this deck i bought it in february and i finally got it today so um, and then we have the wands, this ace of wands, and the, I love in each suit, all the, uh, uh, suits are very color coordinated, so you know what they are. Um, and there's a lot of fire, which, okay, makes sense. Two of wands, beautiful. And there's this very, uh, tribal feel to the wands, which I always, um, uh, felt, as well, but I don't really know if I've got any decks that really, um, that's the three and the four. Beautiful. I don't know if I've got any decks that really convey that feeling of tribal, but this deck does. And I love that about it. And I'm, I can almost guarantee you that the wands are probably my favorite suit in this deck. Um, the cups are pretty nice too. And that's two suits I really usually don't resonate with. So I found that interesting. I love this five of wands. It, and it doesn't feel very conflicty either. You got the flowers here. It's just, it's, it's beautiful. And then the six of wands, that is just, again, with this tribal feeling. I love it. Love it. Seven of wands. I mean, come on. She looks like she's about to start a fire or deep meditation, something. Something's about to happen here. Eight of Wands. Look at that. Beautiful. Oh, yes. This Nine of Wands. Yeah, very tribal feeling. Ten of Wands. I love the skies in this suit. That's probably why I like it best. Page of Wands. I love that Sahara desert feel. And then we have the Knight of Wands, and he's on a rhino, and that is fantastic. Fantastic. He means business, and I love this queen with the sunflowers in there, this whole tribal feel. Ugh. It works so well. I love it. And the King of Wands. Beautiful. This deck is gorgeous. And like I said, I didn't really resonate or even care to get the... <laughs> this is the Ace of Cups the dark mansion tarot but this one was like i have to have it as soon as i saw it i had to have it look at the just the detail in the tails there i mean come on two of cups three of cups yeah their tails are fantastic four of cups beautiful yeah, this whole suit is mermaids, and I, they're, like, this, the detail in their tails is just fantastic. I keep bumping the camera. Yeah, look at that. Six of Cups. Look at that. Detail. Just fantastic. Seven of Cups, and I love the butterflies. And the background is gorgeous as well. Eight of Cups. Gorgeous. Nine of Cups. Ten of Cups. Page of Cups. Knight of Cups. Guarantee you, this is a deck I will be using for 
the rest of this week and maybe a couple more weeks. <laughs> Queen of Cups. Gorgeous. Love the detail. And the tail. And the king. That don't look like Poseidon. I don't know what to tell you. <laughs> and we have normally my favorite suit in any deck. The swords. Ace of swords. I love the little birdies here. And the sky. That's gorgeous. Two of swords. And the water even back there seems rocky. This three of swords is beautiful. And you can really get that rain feeling in that. Storm. Storm. Four of cut swords. I love the flowers. This one I do not like because there's a giant snake in there and I'm terrified of snakes. Five of swords. But you see this looks like a dress or something bloody dress or something it follows in the six of swords so it's almost like it's a continuation of that card from her dress that's awesome seven of swords this eight is gorgeous i love the dress i love the waves back there i love that you get this really rocky storm feeling in this card Love it. And I, uh, Tara Oracle pointed out every negative card in here, most of them are, have rain in them. <laughs> Nine of swords and ten of swords. And he pointed out also, which I agree, there's the ten swords and she almost looks pinned down, but none of them are piercing her, which I think is a cool different take. Page of swords. Love this knight on the bird. Awesome. And this queen is gorgeous as well. I love all the queens in this deck too. And the king of swords, he reminds me of Game of Thrones. It looks like somebody that's trying to take over everything. <laughs> and then the ace of coins is beautiful. But I gotta say, my favorite card in this deck is this two of coins that is so beautiful it's probably tied for the um the uh lover's card um it's just so earthy and beautiful and balanced and i love it and i love the blue green waves back there it's just ah uh, so beautiful three of coins four of coins love this five of coins and again there's rain for the negative like the negative card gorgeous six of coins seven of coins i love this eight eight of coins love 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 this nine she is beautiful and it's very rws <sighs> look at that just gorgeous and the 10 and that's beautiful as well the tree of life is just phenomenal and we have the page beautiful i love the backgrounds and these four see the field there the night and the sky and then this queen yeah i love the the background in this gorgeous she's gorgeous too and the king. So that is the new, my new deck, newest deck, the Element, Elemental Wisdom Tarot. So let's see how she shuffles. I've been dying to shuffle um, this deck. Well, it shuffles that way. Fantastic. Let's see if we can ruffle shuffle. A little thicker than I thought it would be. She's going to shuffle great. So, yeah, that is my newest deck. So, let's pull a card and see what... Oh, wow. Ten of Wands. <laughs> and from all the work I've been doing here lately, um, with my spiritual practice and the health issues I'm going through and then other stuff that's going on, I really do have been feeling like I'm carrying an up... I'm, I'm carrying a heavy load uphill... And there's no end in sight. So that is very accurate for that. And then I look at that. 
I flipped the deck over in the bottom as the chariot, which is my soul card. <laughs> that's crazy. Okay. That's nuts. But yeah, that is my latest deck and I'm already in love. It is beautiful. And I'm just, I've noticed this year I'm buying decks that are really just knock my socks off fantastic. And, um, like they call to me differently than every deck I bought in the past, except for my light sears and my bone stone. Cause I think those were the beginning decks that just call to me on this deep spiritual soulful level. And this is one of them. It's gorgeous. I love it. That it feels so soft and silky. It's just, and then the edging, it's just, ah, they did a fantastic job on this deck. Um, but yeah, that is my latest deck. It is the Elemental Wisdom Tarot. If you guys got this deck, let me know. I haven't seen anybody hurling with it. Um, if you like this video, give me a thumbs up. If you want to see more, please subscribe. And don't forget to hit that notification button so you're alerted to any future videos. And you guys have a good night.